The Litzows were your typical American family. A young couple with two young sons and a desire for another. Unfortunately, a miscarriage changed all that. But during one particular Sunday Mass, Melody and Jason believed that God had spoken to them. It was National Adoption Sunday. We came home and had lunch, and I kind of jokingly just said, turned to Jason and said, so, are you ready to go get our daughter? And he stern, stern face looked at me and said, actually, yes. And I was like, what? The Litzows had a heart for China, and they decided they would adopt a baby girl. Melody suggested to adopt a child with a heart condition, since she herself has a pacemaker. After a year of paperwork, they finally got the call. Hannah was waiting. They left for China, but after seeing their daughter for the first time, it was clear she needed help. She was blue. Her breathing was so rapid. She looked really lifeless. Um, and we just thought, how are we going to stay here in these two weeks with her? But as soon as they tried to board the plane home, the Chinese government stepped in. I have my other two boys that are at home. And I'm just like, we just need to get home. We need to give her the care that she needs. We cannot be stuck here in this foreign country. After U.S. mediation, the Litzows and Hannah returned home. Her brothers could barely contain themselves. Getting Hannah home was the easy part. Now came the surgery, and it came earlier than expected. She was rushed to Chalk Children's Hospital for an unplanned emergency procedure. Her oxygen levels dropped, and doctors gave Hannah a 30% chance of surviving. A life or death decision was made. Before she went in, I was kissing her forehead and talking to her, and I said, you go in there and you make those doctors scratch their heads. I said, you're a fighter and you have a story to tell, and your story's not over. The surgery was a complete success, and although Hannah receives oxygen constantly, doctors believe she will be off of it in a matter of weeks and live a completely normal life. She's blessed us, I think, as much as um, we'll ever bless her. Okay. We just can't even imagine her not being in our life. <laughs> Jonathan Camus, reporting for OCregister.com.